Hi, this is Diana. I'm showing you a short demonstration of the development of a watercolour painting, starting with this photograph of a white rose, from which I pencil sketched the basic outlines of the petals to guide my painting. The first step was laying down some permanent yellow in the background, and a little inside the petals, which would eventually be the deeper, richer parts of the painting. A rich wash of cobalt blue mixed with crimson lake pushes the background further and starts to define the leaves just visible beneath the rose. A few more thin glazes of mixes of blue and yellow was used to add the veining detail on the leaf most visible. The shading in the petals starts with thin glazes of a violet mix. Some of the deeper areas in the body of the bud receive glazes of pinks and yellows to create the reflective glow that I saw in the photograph. More thin glazing, wet in wet, of violet mark the shadowy parts of the petals, and so the process continues layer on layer, creating the three-dimensional effect, of course leaving the brightest areas clean to show the white of the paper. The rose's shading receives numerous more thin additions of a multitude of colours, giving it a pearlescent glowing appearance. Blue-grey glazing toned down the furthest petals, making the centre of the rose bud come to the foreground, becoming the focal point of the painting. Some petal edges are strengthened with a deeper colour, increasing the detail, and in some places colour was lifted with a wet brush to highlight parts of the petals that needed to stand out. The process took about eight hours. Thanks for watching. Visit my website at www.dianaperson.com.